Class 7 Chapter 8 Human Environment Interactions The Tropical and Subtropical Regions Dear students let us go through the chapter Human Environment Interactions The Tropical and Subtropical Regions. Renuka was excited. Shrikant uncle was home after a gap of nearly four months. He was a wildlife photographer and traveled widely. Renuka's interest in wildlife and forests began at an early age. When her uncle introduced her to books on nature. Pictures of distant lands and people, who lived there, always fascinated her. In these pictures Renuka, can see people from different parts of the world. Some from dry deserts. Some from frozen lands. And some from hot wet rainforests. The people living in these places have different lifestyles, they look so different from me, observed Renuka. They may look different. But they share the same basic needs of life, food, clothing and shelter, explained Shrikant uncle. Their children do the same things as you probably do. Play games, quarrel sometimes and then make up. Sing, dance and help the families with various things that need to be done. They live closer to nature and very early in their lives have learned to care for nature. They learn how to catch fish and how to collect material from the forests. Life in the Amazon Basin Before learning about the Amazon Basin, let us look at the map. The river Amazon flows through this region. Notice how it flows from the mountains to the west and reaches the Atlantic Ocean to the east. The place where a river flows into another body of water is called the river's mouth. Numerous tributaries join the Amazon River to form the Amazon Basin. The river basin drains portions of Brazil, parts of Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia and a small part of Venezuela. Climate. As you now know, the Amazon Basin stretches directly on the equator and is characterized by hot and wet climate throughout the year. Both day and nights are almost equally hot and humid. The skin feels sticky. It rains almost every day, that too without much warning. The day temperatures are high with very high humidity. At night the temperature goes down but the humidity remains high. Rainforests. As it rains heavily in this region, thick forests grow. The forests are in fact so thick that the dense roof, created by leaves and branches does not allow the sunlight to reach the ground. The ground remains dark and damp. Only shade-tolerant vegetation may grow here. Orchids, bromeliads grow as plant parasites. The rainforest is rich in fauna. Birds such as toucans, hummingbirds. Macaw with their brilliantly colored plumage. Oversized bills for eating make them different from birds we commonly see in India. These birds also make loud sounds in the forests. Animals like monkeys, sloth and ant-eating tapirs are found here. Various species of reptiles and snakes also thrive in these jungles. Crocodiles, snakes, pythons abound. Anaconda and boa constrictor are some of the species. Besides, the basin is home to thousands of species of insects. Several species of fishes including the flesh-eating piranha fish is also found in the river. This basin is thus extraordinarily rich in the variety of life found there. People of the rainforests. People grow most of their food in small areas after clearing some trees in the forest. While men hunt and fish along the rivers, women take care of the crops. They mainly grow tapioca, pineapple and sweet potato. As hunting and fishing are uncertain. It is the women who keep their families alive. By feeding them the vegetables they grow. They practice, slash and burn agriculture. The staple food is manioc, also known as cassava that grows under the ground like the potato. They also eat queen ants and egg sacs. Cash crops like coffee, maize and cocoa are also grown. The rainforests provide a lot of wood for the houses. Some families live in thatched houses shaped like beehives. There are other large apartment-like houses called, maloka, with a steeply slanting roof. Life of the people of the Amazon basin is slowly changing. In the older days the heart of the forest, could be reached only by navigating the river. In 1970 the Trans-Amazon Highway made all parts of the rainforest accessible. Aircrafts and helicopters are also used for reaching various places. The indigenous population was pushed out from the area, and forced to settle in new areas where they continued to practice their distinctive way of farming. 
the developmental activities are leading to the gradual destruction of the biologically diverse rainforests. It is estimated that a large area of the rainforest has been disappearing annually in the Amazon basin. You can see that this destruction of forests has a much wider implication. The topsoil is washed away as the rains fall and the lush forest turns into a barren landscape. Life in the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin The tributaries of rivers Ganga and Brahmaputra together form the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin in the Indian subcontinent. The basin lies in the sub-tropical region that is situated between 10 degrees north to 30 degrees north latitudes. The tributaries of the river Ganga like the Gagra, the Sun, the Chambal, the Gandak, the Kosi and the tributaries of Brahmaputra drain it. Look at the atlas and find names of some tributaries of the river Brahmaputra. The plains of the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. The mountains and the foothills of the Himalayas. And the Sundarbans Delta are the main features of this basin. Oxbow Lakes dot the plain area. The area is dominated by monsoon climate. The monsoon brings rains from mid-June to mid-September. The summers are hot and the winters cool. Find out the states in which the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin lies. The basin area has varied topography. The environment plays a dominant role in the distribution of the population. The mountain areas with steep slopes have inhospitable terrain. Therefore less number of people live in the mountain area of the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. The plain area provides the most suitable land for human habitation. The soil is fertile. Agriculture is the main occupation of the people where flat land is available to grow crops. The density of population of the plains is very high. The main crop here is paddy. Since cultivation of paddy requires sufficient water, it is grown in the areas where the amount of rainfall is high. Wheat, maize, sorghum, gram and millets are the other crops that are grown. Cash crops like sugarcane and jute are also grown. Banana plantations are seen in some areas of the plain. In West Bengal and Assam tea is grown in plantations. Silk is produced through the cultivation of silk worms in parts of Bihar and Assam. In the mountains and hills, where the slopes are gentle, crops are grown on terraces. The vegetation cover of the area varies according to the type of landforms. In the Ganga and Brahmaputra plain tropical deciduous trees grow, along with teak, sal and people. Thick bamboo groves are common in the Brahmaputra plain. The delta area is covered with the mangrove forests. In parts of Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh, coniferous trees. Like pine, deodar and fir can be seen because the climate is cool and the slopes are steep. There is a variety of wildlife in the basin. Elephants, tigers, deer and monkeys are common. The one-horned rhinoceros is found in the Brahmaputra plain. In the delta area, Bengal tiger and crocodiles are found. Aquatic life abounds in the fresh river waters, the lakes and the bay of Bengal Sea. The most popular varieties of the fish are the rohu, katla and hilsa. Fish and rice is the staple diet of the people living in the area. The Ganga Brahmaputra plain has several big towns and cities. The cities of Allahabad, Kanpur, Varanasi, Lucknow, Patna and Kolkata all with a population of more than 10 lakhs are located along the river Ganga. The wastewater from these towns and industries is discharged into the rivers. This leads to the pollution of the rivers. All the four ways of transport are well developed in the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. In the plain areas the roadways and railways transport the people from one place to another. The waterways, is an effective means of transport particularly along the rivers. Kolkata is an important port on the river Hooghly. The plain area also has a large number of airports. Tourism is another important activity of the basin. Taj Mahal on the banks of river Yamuna in Agra, Allahabad on the confluence of the rivers Ganga and Yamuna. Buddhist stupas in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Lucknow with its Amambara. Assam with Kaziranga, and Manas with wildlife sanctuaries, and Arunachal Pradesh with a distinct tribal culture are some of the places worth a visit. If you think that this video was of any help to you then share it to other students so that they also get benefited, and for more such videos subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.